Come go with us to Dripping Springs, Texas. My wife and I have really enjoyed uh, discovering a lot of small towns in Texas, and we've really become uh, captivated with the hill country uh, area of Texas. And uh, we really enjoyed places like Fredericksburg and Lukenbach and uh, Lano and Marble Falls uh, over the past few months. And um, one, one place we had on our list that we really wanted to check out was Dripping Springs. And um, when we were in Austin this past weekend for Father's Day, we had a, an afternoon where we had nothing planned. Our kids were both busy uh, having to work online actually. And so my wife and I said, Hey, Dripping Springs is not too far away. Let's drive over there. It's one of the places we've been wanting to check out. And, uh, we were going, we were going to arrive there just about in time for a late lunch. And we, our plan was to, uh, stop at a kind of a famous barbecue place called Salt Lick Barbecue. Um, we messed up on that. We shot way past it. Uh, and when we realized how far past it we were, we were hungry and we didn't want to turn around and go back to it. So we just happened to pass another barbecue place right there in, in Dripping Springs. And we went ahead and tried it and it was great. Uh, so you'll see some pictures of that and um, enjoy our little trip to Dripping Springs. Let me add quickly that one of the main things we wanted to see in Dripping Springs was the Hamilton Pool Reserve, and we didn't get to go there. It was closed when we were there, and so we'll be back to Dripping Springs. This was just our first little taste of Dripping Springs, and uh, we often go back to places that, that we like and still have additional things we want to see, so we'll be back to Dripping Springs. I've got a couple of pictures I found online here of the Hamilton Pool Reserve, so you'll see why we wanted to go there. Um, but enjoy. Again, these are pictures I found online of Hamilton uh, Pool Preserve. We were so disappointed we didn't get to see that, but we will definitely be back to Dripping Springs because we've got to get a look at this place. And um, again, we were also disappointed that we didn't get to Salt Lake Barbecue, but we did come across Railroad Barbecue right there and uh, had lunch there and really, really enjoyed it. They, good Texas barbecue uh, at this place. And then we went over to Mercer Street and walked around there for a while. And I, I love it. I love this small town, these small town feels that you, you get in a lot of small towns in Texas and it's so relaxing. And this is an old historic gas station that had that you're looking at a backyard area there at the gas station. They have events and gatherings there, and um, this is a place called Hodson's. It's a live music venue. It wasn't open while we were there. Uh, this is another place that we were hoping to go in, but it again was closed while we were there. Um, and I'm told that the locals refer to Dripping Springs just as dripping. And i um, not sure if that's true. That's just what somebody told me. But again, uh, and this was an art place uh, that we did not go in. It wasn't open while we were there either. Uh, so you can see a lot of the things we wanted to see we'll have to go back for. But we did get a, a nice little first taste of, of Dripping Springs. And um, so we'll definitely be back. And... Uh, Again, that's that historic gas station that they use as a, for events and gatherings. Mainly, They probably mainly gather in that backyard area where they had a fire pit and, and uh, a lot of nice stuff. And um, we did come across a, a really nice coffee shop, uh, Mazama, Mazama, I think is how you say it. And uh, we went in there. We were ready for a late afternoon coffee, and um, they had a great little outdoor seating area that we went to uh, and enjoyed our coffee in the afternoon. The weather was really nice and uh, just made for a real enjoyable afternoon. There's, there's that outdoor sitting area. 
And um, then we came across a stone carving place and they, uh, they still actively carve stones there, but they have kind of a park area set up that you can walk through and view the carved stones. Many of the stones are internally lit. We'd love to be there at nighttime and see how all this looks after dark with the internal lighting. Um, it's really uh, interesting and artsy, and this was my per personal favorite of the carved stones, a big carving in the shape of the state of Texas. And uh, we recommend this place if you visit. Uh. So Dripping Springs is just another great uh, small town in, in Texas, a really nice one. And, and we'll definitely be back there because there were things that we really wanted to see, mainly Hamilton uh, Pool Reserve that we did not get to see. And so our preserve, a Hamilton Pool Preserve. And, and so we'll definitely be uh, back there again. We, we really want to see that and experience it for ourselves.